Well, here we are. In the last video, you saw the motors and the ESCs all being fitted to the arms. So uh, the progress we've made since, we've fitted all the flight control components to the board. In the middle there, you'll see the Wukong M inertial management unit mount on the side of the arm here. You'll see the main controller. On the port side of the uh, aircraft, you'll see the power management unit. Up on the starboard side, you'll see the FR Sky SBUS X8R receiver. Just to make the wiring a little bit neater, I've trimmed these uh, ESC wires down, so weight-wise it's been a fairly trivial uh, saving. And I've actually uh, had to extend the um, S, S bus feed from the receiver into the, uh, the Wukong, which uh, consumed one of the, uh, the saved wires. So weight-wise, not a huge saving, but uh, it just tends to make it a little bit neater. So what we're going to do now is power it on for the very first time. So let's turn the Tyrannus on. Welcome to Tyrannus. Switch warning. Switch E. What's that? Fail safe off. GPS. Hold lock on. Okay. Let's just power up the, uh, the quad. I don't actually have the GPS module installed at this stage, so all I'm really doing, I just want to check the uh, the motors actually spin up and are going in the right direction. So let's uh, start it up. As you can see there. Now motor number one should be going anti-clockwise, which it was. Let's check out motor number two. That's going clockwise. Shut up. That's going clockwise, so that's good. Motor number three, this should go anti-clock, which it is. Uh, now motor number four, this should go clockwise. Which is not, that's going anti-clock, so we've got a problem there. We'll need to um, swap two of the three motor wires around to fix that, so let's do that now. Swap out that one for there, and plug this in. So, power it up again. So this, uh, what do we say? It should go clockwise, which it is. Look at that. Well, three out of four was pretty good. All right, so we've got all the motors spinning in the right direction now. So we can kill power to the aircraft. Turn the Tyrannus off. And what I'll be doing now is fitting the, uh, the top plate um, so it's going to be orientated um, that way. So I'll be screwing down the top plate. So we've got the top plate uh, screwed down. One thing I've also done is fit some uh, Velcro to one side of the battery and Velcro on the other side of the um, FR Sky FLVSS telemetry module. Now I don't know if the heat's going to be a problem on the battery during just discharge, but uh, we're soon going to find out. But for now, it'll just sit there. It plugs into the S port of the FR Sky receiver, like so. So that will send us our battery telemetry back to the Tyrannus. Now if the heat does prove to be a problem with the battery, what I could, an alternative mounting spot would be to uh, put it on one of the arms like so. Obviously we're a bit limited to the, to the length of the uh, the cable, but uh, I don't really want to extend that, so. Now the next job will be to fit the GPS, the Wukong GPS. One thing on, uh, I got is one of these fold over uh, GPS mounts. This weighs 18 grams. It's a little bit on the heavy side for my liking, but what I really don't like is you just do that all the way up. This is really sloppy. Now you would have thought that as you tighten it, that up, it would have actually, uh, inside, it would have actually engaged here to, um, to prevent all the slop, but it doesn't. So I'm gonna, uh, what I'm gonna try doing is uh, taking some length off this so I can actually screw it on tighter and hopefully it will engage and touch that to uh, prevent it from slopping around. Okay, so I've just taken a couple of mil off for the grinder. We'll just finish this off on the file. Get a nice smooth finish. Try 
the snap. Now, as you can see, we've got a bit of a gap in there now. So, when we uh, tighten that up, it actually engages with the, the, the piece in the middle and it's a lot more rigid than what it used to be. So it's a pretty quick and easy mod you can do. It only, only takes a few minutes. Definitely worthwhile doing. Okay, so with that modified, mounted it back onto the uh, top board. Let's do that up. Now that's a lot more rigid, rigid than uh, what it was originally, so I'm pretty happy with that. One other thing I've done, I've turned the, uh, the puck 10 degrees around to the east just to compensate for the magnetic declination here. So that's the build so far. Uh, next task to do will be to take it outside and test the GPS and all that sort of stuff.